Well, while February is often associated with love, heartbreak is also very real and can trigger a condition called broken heart syndrome. A Lehigh Valley woman knows that firsthand. Doctors say it literally caused her heart to flatline. Shai Gray took her son to St. Luke's ER to be treated for a dog bite last fall. While there, she had her own emergency. My husband started fanning me. He asked the ER doctor to get me a glass of water. I drank it and I told him I need it more. He went and got me more and that's all I remember. Dr. Stevens, what was actually happening? Working hypothesis was that she had something called broken heart syndrome, uh, which is uh, when you have a very stressful event and uh, it causes stress hormones to cause the heart to go into cardiac arrest. That stress was the pain of losing her grandmother a few weeks earlier, coupled with her son's ER visit. The Schuylkill County resident unaware with what was physically happening with her heart. Doctors at St. Luke's University Hospital say this initial echo shows the middle of her heart contracting and the top or apex is not a common effect of broken heart syndrome. Some people will have just ballooning of the heart and heart failure symptoms. Some will have abnormal beats. It's amazing the mind-body uh, connection here because your, your mind sees something is very stressful and people can have uh, their heart get very sick. I mean, life-threateningly sick, which happened in this situation. Doctors have now placed a defibrillator in Gray's heart. I have been on top of my doctor's appointments, taking my medication. Yeah, so Gray, like you heard, just said that she's on medication to monitor her heart and regularly sees a therapist. She's also been going to group therapy sessions to help others manage their own grief. So it's a way for her to try to pay it forward in some case, but really shows you that like stress and yeah. sadness can really impact That's your a, heart. It's a real thing with a real mm -hmm. effect. Yes. You got it. Yeah. Christy, thank you. Still ahead.